CompTIA A Plus Core 1, 220-1101, Practice Exam. Questions 106 through 110. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 106. Which of the following are most likely to cause a cell phone to get hot? Select 2. The answer is A and D. Using the phone as a hotspot and too many applications are open. Using the phone as a hotspot and having too many applications open are likely to cause a cell phone to get hot because both activities intensively use the phone's processor and radio hardware. Hotspot usage engages the device's wireless communication systems continuously, while running multiple apps increases the CPU workload, both of which generate excessive heat. Question 107. A technician is setting up a new router for a Soho network, and they have received an IP address from the ISP for the router's external interface which IP address was most likely assigned to the router's WAN port? The answer is B, 19.245.82.64. The given address is a public IP, which is required for a router's WAN port to communicate with the ISP and access the internet. The alternative IP addresses are all in ranges typically reserved for private networks. Unlike public IP addresses, private IP addresses are used internally within a private network and are not routable on the Internet. Question 108. During a burn-in test, a workstation shuts down without warning. What is the most probable reason for this occurrence? The answer is C, overheating. During a burn-in test, the system's components are subjected to intensive stress to verify their reliability and performance. This process generates substantial heat. If the generated heat exceeds the cooling capabilities of the system, it can trigger safety mechanisms that abruptly power off the workstation to prevent hardware damage. Question 109. A support request has been logged for a malfunctioning laser printer. Presently, the text is failing to adhere to the paper. To rectify this issue, which component most likely needs replacing? The answer is A, fuser. In a laser printer, the fuser heats up and presses the toner powder onto the paper, creating a permanent image. If printed text or images are not sticking to the paper, this typically indicates that the fuser isn't reaching the necessary temperature or isn't applying sufficient pressure to fuse the toner to the paper. This failure to properly bond the toner results in smudging or loose particles that can be wiped off the page. Replacing a defective fuser unit would usually resolve such issues. Question 110. Which type of device is most commonly associated with the use of a Thunderbolt cable? The answer is C, Apple Laptop. Apple laptops are most commonly associated with the use of Thunderbolt cables because Apple was an early adopter of the Thunderbolt interface, incorporating it into their laptop designs for high-speed data transfer and charging. This made Thunderbolt a standard feature in many Apple laptops, facilitating connectivity with a wide range of peripherals and displays. So did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. 
Subscribe for more great content.